The Mobius camera has a trick up its sleeve when it comes to the lens. It's actually designed to be user changeable. So with a couple of screws at the bottom, we can gain access to the case and you can change it from the standard lens type A to the wide angle lens, which is known as type B. And at this point in the video, I'd like to say a big thank you to banggood.com who've sent me this wide angle lens to swap out for the standard one that's in this Mobius camera. The link to the lens replacement is in the description below the video. So if you're looking to do this to your own Mobius or you're looking to replace a lens that's been damaged, then I'd recommend have a look at the link and uh, get yourself sorted out. So let's go and open the case and start changing things over. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to take out two screws. Now, if you look underneath, there's only two screws at the front. The back is held on by clasps. So if we use one of these small Phillips screwdrivers, which will completely clear the threads, then the case will come apart. So now we are in the camera you can see that, I need to be a bit careful because I've left the battery plugged in here, the lens is actually connected to the camera by a little ribbon cable going into this zero insertion force socket. And that little black bar at the back, when it's down in that position, um, is actually grabbing onto the cable. So the first thing we need to do is using a thumbnail or something non-conductive really, is lift that black bar. Okay, so now we can actually lift the lens out and we can withdraw that ribbon cable without any problem. So the thing I want to show you while I have these lenses out is you'll notice that on both of the standard A-type lens that we've just taken out and also on the much wider B-type lens, there's a little Allen screw at the side. And that Allen screw is the one that you can undo to adjust the focus of the lens. So if you have your Mobius and you find that the lens isn't crisp and sharp as it should be, then get your little Allen key that probably came with a kit, or if you don't, get a nice small one. I'm not sure of the exact size. If I uh, figure it out from the one in my kit, I'll post it in the description underneath. You can just undo that, change it until it's perfectly uh, sharp, and then nip it back and you're good. Now what you'll notice inside the case is there are two positions for the lenses. The rear one is the one that we've just taken the, the camera out of. The one in front is the one that the wide angle lens has to push into. So one of the things I want to show you, uh, just before we fit the next uh, lens in, the wide angle lens, is the wide angle lens, the actual width of the, uh, I don't know if you can see this very well, if I put the sides, it's actually very slightly wider, uh, the case, than the original lens that came in the camera. So to accommodate that, I've had to make a few very small minor changes in the case itself. I don't know if you can see, but one of the things I've done, I've actually cut the lower side of this um retaining piece here out so that um, it'll fit in there and I've spread the top um, bits and pieces slightly as well and now it'll fit in. So if you get yours and you find that the replacement lens is slightly wider than the other one then you'll know what the situation is. So just make those two modifications on the case and it'll fit in fine. So to fit it in very straightforward now, <laughs> we've made those little changes. Make sure that the black bar is up. Hold the ribbon cable at the very end. Slide it into position. Once it's in as far as it'll go, which is about that much, push down the black retaining clip at the back and it's set. And then push it into that front slot Mine now fits beautifully. And then what you do is put the top back on and we'll put those two screws in. And then there's one little thing in software that we have to do to let the camera know that it now has a wide angle lens. So let me put the two screws back in and we'll have a look at it put all back together. 
So I've popped the screws back in now and here we have it with the wide angle lens fitted. Now all I'll do is I'll take a quick video in a second and we'll see the difference. But before I do any filming with it at all, I've got to plug it into the laptop and use the msetup.exe program to change the camera from a type A lens, which is what was installed when it came, to the new type B lens, which is the wide angle. So let's plug it into my laptop and we'll do that now. So here we are on the trusty netbook and what we're going to do is use um, msetup.exe. I'll put a link to where you download that from in the description underneath, but if you've watched my Mobius setup and review video, all the details are in there as well, as well as how you do the bits and pieces. I've also pressed and held the mode button, then press and held the power button on the camera so that it flashes three times. That then created the file on the um, SD card that has to be installed to do this so that the machine can see it. So all that's in place, we're plugged in, we have the setup file, and now we can see the drive. So if I click on the Mobius Action Cam at the top, here we have the lens type that we need to change. It's currently set to lens A, which is the normal lens. Lens B is the wide angle. Then we just need to click on Set Parameters. And we're done. So now I'm going to disconnect the camera, wander back to the bridge and take another video using the new lens and we can see the difference and see the extra view that we're capturing on the CCD. So let me do that and I'll come straight back. So here's the videos that I've shot with this camera. This first video that we're looking at here was um, done first thing in the morning, very bright, crisp, clear morning uh, you can see how sharp it is this is using the standard lens or the type a lens and i wanted to get this um before i started making the video today just to record what the image looked like and also to kind of remember how much of the field of view we had i've uh, just come back now from doing the second bit of filming with the new lens and you can see that there's an awful lot more that we're seeing we're seeing more to the left and to the right but I think the most startling comparison, if I just take two screenshots from uh, one still from each video and overlay them one on top of the other, you can see absolutely how much more of um, a look around that you get. Now, I obviously didn't put the camera in exactly the same spot on the wall. Um, I tried to, but it's obviously slightly skew. But it gives you an idea of the additional uh, area that we're capturing up, down, left and right. Interestingly, the wide angle lens isn't as pin sharp as the original one, so I will have to find that little um, Allen key and undo it and just tweak it until it's perfect. It's almost there, but it needs a little bit of a turn. So I'll do that and then it will be ready for use. So hopefully for those of you that are looking at the Mobius or maybe have the Mobius but don't have the wide angle lens or looking to change the lens or replace a damaged lens that you already have, that's going to be useful for you. So in summary, replace the lens, make sure that you're lifting that black bar at the top of the zero insertion for socket, make sure that you connect to M setup and um, make sure that the right lens type is selected. Thanks again to Banggood for sending this to me. Really appreciate it. And uh, the link to this lens again is in the bottom. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.